Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, worshippers of all ages, welcome to YouTube, and welcome to 2021. My name is C Raptor. it's time for more Scuttlebutt. This week's Game in the Background brought to you by Tier 9 American Heavy Cruiser, USS Buffalo. Now this is a ranked game, which is not normally where you'd expect to find Buffalo. I have a pretty low opinion of this ship. But one of the things that I was doing in the Silver League, I guess it was last week, was I was using Silver League games to knock off Tier 9 Snowflakes. Because, ultimately, A, I don't really care about ranked. Like, I kind of do and I kind of don't. Um, and it was an easy way to, you know, play a game and either I would either do well enough to knock off the Snowflake or I'd get the win. And either way, I was, I was accomplishing two or three things at the same time by working on dailies and ranked and Snowflake grinding at the same time. And there are lots of really good Tier 9s that can more than hang in with Tier 10s in this kind of a small, uh, you know, 77 format. So, Buffalo. Not a ship I am typically enamored of. However, in this game, it works out pretty well. One of the things I want to point out, several ch we've had several videos floating around on of the channel on Buffalo over the past eh, month or so. It started off way back when I had one where I was explaining why I played Range Buffalo, and I had a guy come into the comments and say, no, 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 you need to play Brawling Buffalo with Reload, reload Mod in Slot 6. And I was like, I don't know. Okay, but I tried it. I've tried it a couple of times on stream with minimal success. This is arguably the best game I've yet achieved in this ship, and I think it interestingly kind of points out the things you can do in a small format with uh, a brawly kind of uh, a build for some of these high-tier cruisers. Anyway, enjoy. Well, guys, we made it. 2020 is over. We have survived into 2021. Um, that's that's good, and, and, and I guess it's bad because, well, I mean, you know, the, the calendar has turned over. Not much has actually changed at the moment. Change is incremental. It'll come slowly. And hopefully as we get deeper into this year, everything will, will appear a little rosier and look a little better. For the world of warships, though, things are doing okay. Lots going on right now. Of course, we're, as you see here, we're, we're derping around in ranked. Um, and of course, there is that they are running the test season of the new ranked system right now in World of Warships. Bronze, the bronze week was, I think, the week of Christmas. And then last week, the week of New Year's, was the was the week of Silver League. You could get into Silver League. And this week now, the first full week of 2021, is the week that you are allowed to get into and play in Gold League games in the first for the first time. Uh, I am in Gold League. Uh, I'll be doing some of that on stream this week. I don't expect it to be all that different. But one of the things that I really... There are things that I like and I dislike about this system. You know, the, the dislike is the same dislike we've always had, right? Like... Ranked in general is, you know, you want it to be a competitive format, but, I mean, a lot of people you meet in ranked really aren't much better than people you meet in random, so is it really competitive? I mean, fair question. Um, however, what I like about the league system is that it allows you, or even forces you to an extent, to play different ships throughout, this, throughout the ranking setup, right? You start in bronze at tier 8. You can play whatever you like down there. You can pounce around. There's lots of good tier 8 ships, and it's tier 8 only, which I'm a huge fan of. They don't mix tier 8s and tier 9s and 10s, because that power ramp up from 8 to 9, and certainly from 8 to 10, is pretty significant. As you get to Silver League, now it's 9s and 10s. You get a mix. You can have either. And and matchmaking is set, and I love this. Matchmaking is, spe is specifically set up so that... If you know uh, you, you end up with the same number of tier nines, the same number of tier tens on each team. So queuing up in a tier nine is actually an interesting, interesting mechanic. Um, I did quite a bit of that while working through my silver games, and I found I really enjoyed it. I liked the variety. I liked being able to play tier nines in ranked. And then of course, gold league is the typical tier ten grind fest that you're used to from ranked. Um, yeah, I just so far I'm liking this. I like that it's not dependent on me advancing in ranks. To get at least some steel out of it, I can just derp around as long as I get, what, 6, 8, or 10 wins or something like this. I can get some steel out of it, um, some other rewards, and uh, and a fan. So, so far, I'm really enjoying the new system. Um, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's the quiet season, right? This first full week of the year is, is Russian holidays, so you won't be seeing anything out of St. Pete this week in terms of news or announcements or dev blog posts or none of that. Um... There was a little bit towards the end of the year, mostly balanced stuff, uh, in the sense of there weren't any major annou ship announcements since the last Scuttlebutt. There's only been only been three dev blog posts since the last Scuttlebutt at all, and they've almost entirely been um, balance changes, trying to improve Kansas and Minnesota, which desperately need the help. Um, 
a nice a nice uh, a nice improvement. Actually, these things have already come to the game, right? They were done in 912. Uh, actually, so I shouldn't I shouldn't really be worrying about that one. So let's see what's what's coming in uh, in next patch 10o. They're making some improvements to low tier Italian cruisers, which desperately need it because playing low tier Italian cruiser is about as much fun as eating hot coals. Um, they're you know, small buff to tier five uh, premium American battleship Oklahoma, which similarly desperately needs the buff, uh, reducing her main battery load from 40 seconds to 38 seconds. I, I like this change. I mean, the selling point of Oklahoma is meant to be the, the, the fancy secondaries, but when you only have, what, a maximum of 20 knots and change to play with, the odds of you getting into secondary range to, to get much use out of them, especially when you're bottom tier, and you will be bottom tier in tier 5 on occasion, uh, is is not, not high. And then a buff to Fiji. What? The best tier 7 cruiser in the game getting a buff? Yes, they're buffing her deck armor to 51 millimeters i find that really interesting i'm wondering we say this is a buff but i'm actually beginning to wonder if maybe it's a small nerf in the sense of that that armor threshold between her deck armor and her citadel roof will now get ap bombs from like ryujo and uh vesser and some of those mid-tier carriers that use ap bombs to actually fuse whereas right now maybe they overpin fiji because that deck armor is so thin i don't know i'd have to go i'm not as well versed in some of the armor mechanics of, of bomb drops through the deck but i'm willing to bet that might actually be a small nerf because fiji is very strong i cannot imagine why you'd be buffing this ship <laughs> i just can't um some more changes to some ships currently in testing. Uh, the low-tier Italian battleships getting some detection nerfs. I'm a little sad to see that. The stealth is one of the only things I feel like those ships have going for them. Eh, we'll see. Um, some additional nerfs. Excuse me. To Tier Nine, Tier Nine's premium uh, Marco Polo. One of my one of the ships that I absolutely loved. Um, looking over the stats, and of course. This is the big one. They nerfed the hell out of her detection radius. And, you know, the, the Dante Alighieri and Conte di Cavour got minor detection nerfs. This detection nerf to Marco Polo is not minor. Uh, they're taking her 15.3 detection and bloating it out to 16.8 base detection. I'll have to run the numbers, but that means she's not going to be the stealthy, kind of up-tiered Roma style of play that I was really excited for out of this ship. They also nerfed her SAP which I'm questioning because if I remember if I'm not oh wait okay hold on they nerfed they nerfed the 15 inch SAP already so now they're nerfing Marco Polo's 16 inch SAP to kind of keep things in line okay that makes sense I'll buy that and then they apparently she had some superstructure armor that was 250 millimeters that doesn't make any sense anyway they made some nerfs there and then um, we talked about the deck, the deck armor change earlier on Tier 7's Fiji, Tier 6 Premium Commonwealth Cruiser uh, Masore, the Indian ship, also getting a nerf to her deck armor. So, yeah, again, I, I think, I mean, it's a buff to the deck armor, but I think it's a nerf ultimately because it's going to, it's going to change how the ship reacts to, to AP bombs. That's what I think the, the point there is. I mean, not really a ton, all, you know, news, there's, there's this big contest going on here on on the na server you might be aware of it you might not i'll drop a link in the in the down below basically they're trying to incentivize people to play the new american battleship branch by offering big carrots um for like i think it's like a two-week stretch you have to have the highest total damage in either kansas or minnesota or vermont and there's like a unique t-shirt and a premium ship that goes with that i mean if that's your bag have fun not for me i'm i'm not going to be participating in that um what else is going on? I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, that's really about it. I'm going to get back to more regular content on the channel this week. Uh, that had meant to happen last week, but a variety of family and real life other things got in the way of that. So apologies. Uh, it's been a, a couple of boring weeks of nothing but Twitch clips. But uh, this week, obviously, I'm getting a scuttlebutt out the door. And then uh, over the rest of this course this week, we're going to get a quarterly review for the back end of the last quarter of 2020. Um, I've already got that mostly done. And then I'll get a couple of first look videos out the door for uh, the Fen, Fen Yang, uh, Tier 8 Premium uh, Pan-Asian Destroyer. And then there's another one in the queue. There's another premium ship i got to do a first look video on. Uh, I don't know. Anyway. It's going to be... I've got more content coming this week. Let's put it this way. Uh, it's been, like I said, it's been pretty slow. We've done a lot of Twitch videos, but we're going to be getting into uh, some more other things here soon enough. So, yeah, 2021. I mean, we're here. Um, 
you're going to start seeing some changes come to the channel. I might actually do a video about this at some point. Not because I'm going to be giving up a warships. I'm not quitting the game. I'm not going to quit streaming it or quit playing it. But I've got other things. I've been, if you watch me on Twitch, you know I've been slowly working towards other things. Uh, bringing other things to Twitch, which means I will eventually also be able to bring other things to YouTube. Uh, mostly board game related. And that is all starting to come to fruition. I have the streaming PC, the streaming and video recording PC built down near my gaming table. Um, I've got most of my audio problems solved. I'm in the middle of trying to teach myself uh, a little bit about video and, and source uh, a nice DSLR for doing those kinds of, doing that kind of work. So all that will be coming probably in the next eh, four to six, maybe eight weeks. It depends. But yeah, guys, uh, we made it. 2020 is over. 2021, uh, uh, man, I don't want to jinx it. I, I, almost, I almost said it can't possibly. It has to get better, right? I almost said that, but I stopped myself. <laughs> Anyways, guys, listen, I hope you're having a great New Year so far. I hope you're enjoying your, your boat's time. Plenty more time to knock off snowflakes. Get out there, dabble in ranked, grind out new ship lines, whatever it is you're doing. Drop on by to Twitch. Come find me on Twitter. Say hi. Let's chat. In the meantime, wash your hands, be safe, and I'll catch you next time.